About three weeks ago, I was going about my day as normal. It was well into early morning in America, meaning it was quieter on my server's SMP as it normally is around this time. Suddenly, I got a dozen notifications on my phone. Players were frantically trying to get our attention on Discord as something bad had happened at spawn. Chunks had become, well, invisible. It was extremely unusual, something I'd never seen before. But random chunks at spawn had just disappeared. Players were unable to connect or log into the server. Some quite literally fell through the world. Random entities began crashing the game whenever you walked nearby and it seems somebody was using an obscure dupe exploit. With no errors, no logs and no trace of what happened anywhere to be found besides a few screenshots and a single video, this was terrifying. Some player had managed to completely render our spawn unusable and didn't leave a trace. We needed to figure out what happened fast, and we had two suspects. You see, one really odd thing we noticed immediately was that a player had managed to spawn a bunch of entities, specifically arrows. A few players got screenshots of what seemed to be hundreds of arrows floating and moving unnaturally in the air. These arrows would not despawn like they should and were behaving extremely strangely. Similar could be seen for other projectiles like rockets, flaming arrows, and even ender pels. Could this be the reason the chunks had seemingly disappeared? Well, luckily a player on our server caught what seemed to be the culprit. A player by the name of Cyber Llama was seen shooting bugged arrows which wouldn't despawn, racking up over 300 in total at one point. But beyond these two or so screenshots, we couldn't get any more evidence as players kept crashing whenever they would go near these unusually behaving entities, unable to even play the game. And we couldn't question this player as he had seemingly logged off and didn't even have a Discord account. But we had bigger problems right now as the server was in peril. Whatever the hell was happening was breaking the server in more ways than one. Players found that their elytra would never run out of charge, basically as if it had been turned into a jetpack. Some players were reporting that they had fallen through the world at spawn and died, and our staff was trying to deal with a player who was duping. No matter what we tried, we couldn't fix the chunks, and the server was gradually breaking down. So we panicked, rolling back the spawn chunks and restarting the server, which fixed it. Or so we thought at the time. The next day we got to investigating to make sure this would never happen again. Cyber Llama seemed like a dead end as players mentioned they weren't even old enough to own a Discord account. So we went to our next lead. A player by the name of Esteban's property claimed to be utilizing this exploit to dupe items, mentioning it was some private chunk exploit he couldn't reveal. This was interesting as finally somebody had claimed responsibility for what had happened. One of the server's developers, Snowcall, recorded the encounter and from the footage we can see that items were just generating out of nowhere over and over, like they were from an infinite source. And worst of all, this dupe exploit seemed to be as simple as just dropping the items near or in the invisible chunks. So simple just like clicking the sub button. 500k by the end of the year is the goal, so subscribe and get this badge if you haven't already. No pressure. Anyways, upon teleporting to his base, we saw what looked like a massive dupe stash. Hundreds of chests had been placed in a massive cave system, all lined up in somewhat of an order. It seemed as if he was planning to dupe and store mass amounts of items, utilizing whatever exploit had broken the server. But he was very difficult to question. He would go on to state that it happened when two players loaded and unloaded the same chunk at the same time, but then would contradict himself and mention that he didn't do it and knew nothing. The interrogation went around in circles and wasn't getting any so I decided to enlist the help of some experts. I sent the one video we had to Duper Trooper, which for those of you unaware, is an expert in Minecraft dupes. I mean, it's literally in his name. If anybody would know what dupe was happening here, it would be him. But to my surprise, Duper Trooper told me he had never seen an exploit like that in his life. I gave him the exploiter's discord and told him to get back to me if he learnt anything. I then contacted another player called Guild Fesh, who has years of experience with Minecraft bugs, exploits and modding. You may have seen his recent video where he exploits Mojang's chat reporting system. It was hard to determine what had happened from just the limited footage alone, but Guild Fesh predicted that it may be related to an arrow velocity exploit. You see, a few months back, a private exploit was leaked, whereby a mod could alter the velocity or speed of arrows shot from a bow so that they would instantly kill or one-shot any entity they hit. This of course included players, no matter what armor or enchantments they had. The exploit was patched in the 1.19 version of the server software we used, but when this exploit happened, we were still on 1.18.2. Guildfesh noticed that the arrows in the footage and screenshots all seemed to be pointing downwards, which happens when they are given insane amounts of velocity. 
So the leading theory now was that somehow a player had managed to overload the data in the chunks, preventing it from saving, utilizing arrows with insane amounts of velocity that wouldn't despawn. But beyond that bizarre explanation, it was almost impossible to determine what had happened and prevent it from breaking the server in the future, unless it happened again and we were online to analyze it. So with both my leads turning up empty at this point, I didn't know who else to talk to. I returned to interrogating the original exploiter to try to find out more info. He was more open to discussion now, probably because we permanently banned him from the server and admitted that the items were just ghost items and he was just trolling. There was no dupe here. That was actually believable, as in the original video, none of the items being duped could be picked up. It was very relieving to learn this information, as it meant we weren't going to have another duplication crisis, but my relief quickly vanquished when he sent a screenshot of what seemed to be a successful replication of the exploit on another poor server. While we knew it wasn't a dupe now, it still didn't solve the main issue of spawn and specific chunks becoming utterly unusable. So I pushed further, trying to figure out what exactly he did to break the chunks. He claimed that to break the chunks, you need to put a lot of load on the server and use some sort of speed hack. But no matter what, none of the so-called explanations I got from this player were coherent, with none making logical sense. Guildfest tried to contact him as well, but we just couldn't get a straight explanation out of him. In fact, it seemed like he didn't even understand what he did himself. So I set an ultimatum. If he ever wanted to be unbanned from my server, he would have to send a video of him performing the exploit. In the meantime, I continued to do my own research, looking through bug reports and trying to find cases of anything similar happening on other servers. This was extremely difficult, however, as most similar cases I could find were simply due to lag. We've all experienced chunk issues before, when you fly too fast with an elytra or too many players are on your server and the chunks don't load. But our situation was different, because while the chunks didn't load, the server was not lagging. The TPS was 20, chat was fine, you could teleport, move, drop items, talk, everything like normal. But yet these mysterious chunks still remained invisible, never loading again and eventually crashing the players or preventing them from joining. I ran into dead end after dead end, and I just could not find any information at all about what had happened. The exploiter eventually sent me a video, but all that displayed was normal server lag, and after I brought that up to him, he even admitted he had no idea how he did it. That was it. I had no more leads, couldn't find any information, and even the experts I asked didn't know what had happened. By this point now, it had been over two weeks since the server was brought to its knees and it hadn't happened again. I just passed it off as some obscure bug or lag that had been patched in 1.19 and we would never have to deal with it again. Monday the 27th of July, it was 8pm for me and I was doing some uni work. Then I started getting a bunch of Discord notifications. I ignored it at first, but then upon getting spammed with more, I checked. It had happened again. I rushed to my computer so this time I could see it for myself and get some footage. I also messaged Guild Fesh so we could begin investigating. At first, I couldn't even log in as I'd last logged off in a broken spawn chunk so my game was permanently stuck on loading terrain. Players could not connect, they were lagging out and crashing. It was bad, we needed to figure out what was happening and fast. I used the server console to teleport me away from spawn, which finally let me log in and investigate. I initially noticed that upon walking into an invisible chunk, I would fall through the world, get teleported back up, fall through the world again, get teleported back up again, all in a loop until I eventually just got stuck. Notice that my player model also doesn't render in this void-like area either. It seemed like whatever walks in here vanishes. It's not just a visual glitch either. In replay mod, I literally disappear from existence. Then I saw the arrows again, littered all throughout the PvP area, moving unnaturally. Right nearby, the chunks had seemingly vanished for miles. This was one of the most bizarre experiences I've ever had in Minecraft. It was like the world was slowly corrupting before my very eyes. According to the F3 entity counter, there were over 300 arrows and other projectiles permanently stuck here. This wasn't a result of server lag either, as besides its completely broken spawn area, it was business as usual on the server. Interestingly, flying around and viewing the abomination from certain angles changed its behavior, and while at certain angles only one chunk or so would be invisible, changing the viewing angle would render other chunks entirely invisible as well. And remember, this isn't just visual. Walking or entering those chunks will break you. Occasionally, you wouldn't even have to enter the chunk for it to break, and being just within a few blocks of it would cause you to rubber band over and over. Just as I suspected, throwing items nearby or into the broken chunks would create the strange effect we thought was item duplication earlier. It was clearer now what was going on. The items were acting just like the arrows and other projectiles, moving back and forth in an infinite loop. If you drop each item individually one by one, you can create this really trippy effect where the items seem to be infinitely generating, but they are ghost items and I couldn't even pick them back up. 
All players can see this by the way, it wasn't just on my end. The invisible chunks would return to normal every so often and then would disappear again, over and over. I decided to shoot some arrows and sure enough, they all would also get stuck in a repetitive loop where they would fire, come back, then fire again. Elytras had some really strange behavior where they would never lose their boost or charge, meaning I could fly around without using any rockets, seemingly infinitely. And that's when I discovered what was making people crash. Just like other projectiles and entities, firework rockets would get stuck in an infinite loop as well. Except for some reason, every time they would reappear, they would cause devastating lag spikes to your game, and after roughly 10 seconds would make it crash. This happened to multiple players on the server multiple times, and I have a very high-end PC as well, so it works on everyone equally. If this chunk exploit can be successfully replicated, then players effectively have the power to use rockets to crash anybody over and over, an extremely powerful ability. We used a plugin on the server to see who shot the arrows and discovered that most were shot by the same one or two people, almost all at once or within the same few seconds. Upon investigating said players, while they did have high amounts of arrows in their ender chests or inventories, they didn't seem to be suspicious, mentioning they were PvPing a few hours ago and shot these arrows then, which did check out. And due to the fact that any player who tries to shoot arrows or use projectiles has this happen, I don't think anybody did this intentionally. The arrows eventually landed and could be picked up, although it took them hours from when they were shot. We restarted the server to fix the chunks and things returned to normal. Guildfesh confirmed it wasn't the Velocity Arrows exploit causing this, but didn't know what had happened. My new theory after this investigation is that no individual player is causing this, but rather it's something on the server side. I still have no idea though and am left only slightly less confused than I was a week ago. Could this happen again and break the server once more? Yes it could. And that's why I need your help. I've exhausted every option I've had, chased every lead I could follow, and we still have no idea what's going on and don't know if it's going to happen again. So if you have any info, any knowledge, or any idea what's going on, please leave a comment or contact me on Discord. I hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe and help me get to 500k. Thank you all so much for watching.